Dr. Juan Huiyao, my excellence uh, Chan Yunxin, dear colleagues. We live in complex time in which the objectivity on China and the world is manipulated almost on a daily basis by gigantic campaigns on the sea formation and double standards. These campaigns usually follow the same MO. First, speech is aimed at dismantling any hint of progress from which, on the basis of, of that reductionist logic, books and articles are built, and the role of academia and the media is guided to extort or to sell as universal view that is based with a questionable content. That is why I would like to begin by congratulating Center for China and Globalization for this initiative that I consider to be valuable and appropriate to continue dismantling the narrative of the flexibility of China as a social nation, whose political and economic system has proved to be able to generate material wealth in a sustainable way to promote social justice and happiness of people. China has become a fundamental force which promotes the establishment of an international relation multipolar system and a new international economic order while consolidating itself as a world leader in the economic recovery in the fight against the pandemic and in avoiding climate collapse. The success achieved in confronting the pandemic because of the certainty of adopted policy and strategies, including prioritizing people's life and health over market logic, together with its proven ability to materialize the socioeconomic goals that have been set so far, con constitute a strength with talking about the future of China, regardless the international context and its fluctuation. When it, about, when it is about China, Latin America and the Caribbean people are driving by a positive energy. It is a shared perception that China has established itself as an international actor of great relevance for Latin America and the Caribbean, has is raised its level of development, has boosted its external projection, and reinforced its role on the international stage. That is, China has become a unifying factor, a balancing and development force, whose long-term strategy provides for us a fundamental ingredient that our region needs for its independent, prosperous, and sustainable development. Cuba and China remain united in the struggle for peace, in defense for the true multilaterals, uh, the permanent defense of the principle of international law and the culture of the United Nations. Both countries have been and will continue to be consistent in rejecting blockade and unilateral coercive policy, stigmatization, and politicization of issues that turn into campaign and political pressure against sovereign states. A few months ago, Cuba became the first country for Latin America and the Caribbean to sign the vision and action plan for the joint promotion of the Belt and Roads Initiative, after being the fifth nation from the region to join back in 2018. Last year, Cuba also joined the Bell and Root Energy Partnership, important, important protocol we are signing that will allow increasing export of Cuban fishery products, as well as continue to expand scientific technical cooperation in a new modality, such as research and the joint development of highly innovative products, medicine and vaccine. Bilateral cooperation in the biotechnology sector has reached unprecedented level which today we continue to strive to continue expanding for the benefit of both people and countries. The high level of bilateral political relationship and the breakable friendship between the two communist party, governments and people allow us to continue strengthening a, a strategic alliance and a special relationship. In addition to consider each other good friends, brothers and comrades, the relation between Cuba and China have unlimited potential that we have taken advantage for the benefits of our respective people and for the whole humankind. Thank you very much.